and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is number five in our Island Entrances series and I'm so excited. If you can't already tell from the thumbnail and my little outfit, we are doing a witchy theme today. I was feeling very intimidated for this for whatever reason. I am like somewhat emo goth in real life and I feel like this should be in my wheelhouse and for whatever reason I really struggled. I also really struggled to find the specific codes that I was really wanting for this build and so I ultimately decided to go with the castle items which I think end up looking pretty cool in the end but I had in mind for this to almost look like a renovated like church that the witches have taken over and made into their very own school. I don't know that it really gives church but I do feel it's giving like medieval school in the end so we'll go ahead and live with it. I did have to play around with the different configurations for this area quite a bit and so I cut out my struggling. I just want you to know that it's there, that I did in fact struggle. I did really want to incorporate some simple panels as well as the castle items just because I feel like it gives it a little something something and then I wanted to do something in the center to kind of like make lights like a, I don't know. I end up just putting candles on the decorative pillar, but ultimately I just wanted it to be very glowy um, because that feels kind of witchy to me. Just like a bunch of candles lit everywhere. It's a whole vibe. So now I'm just playing around with the spacing a little bit. I want the simple panels to look like they're very close to the castle walls. Um, so I'm just kind of like moving them back a little bit and shifting the like outer little castle tower thing. Ultimately, I had to do the castle gate in the center because it's a very oddly spaced item and there was literally nothing else that would fit there without it being a gap. So I went ahead and put the iron bars behind it or the jail bars and I think that kind of helps it to look like a little more finished, I don't know. It's so weird the spacing of certain items in Animal Crossing. Sometimes it really drives me absolutely insane. But for this bottom portion, I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit with Symmetry and put this like topiary and the street lamps on either side of the build. I went ahead and customized those with like a moon shaped flag, which I'm imagining is like the flag for the school and you know, you get the vibe, you get the vibe. For this build, I'm only going to be using cedar trees because I think they look a little bit darker and they're gonna give us that kind of moody, deep in the forest kind of vibe that I'm looking for. I had a couple of different path codes saved for this build and I ultimately ended up using just a tiny little bit of this dirt path. I had also saved this stone path that you can kind of see at the top and I felt like it was just way too much stone with all of these castle items. Originally I was planning on having this be an entirely simple panel build so I think it probably would have worked perfect but my original vision just didn't really work out. I do really love this dirt path though. There's something that I think fits really nicely with this theme but I wanted it to be very winding leading from the airport. Also to offset the fact that the um, bridge from the airport is not perfectly center with the center of the castle gate, which honestly I thought about completely tearing it down just to fix that or to see if I could fix it, but I ended up just kind of going with it. I don't think that it really is that big of a deal in the end. Should let me know if it drives you nuts or not though. Sometimes those weird like lack of symmetry moments really drive me absolutely insane. But in this case, I don't know. I think it looked kind of cool in the end. I'm using some like decaying looking items as well. So we're gonna incorporate the giant vine. I thought this was the perfect occasion to use that glowing pond. I've never used it before because it just doesn't fit super well with most of the themes that I usually try. But since we're way out of my comfort zone, I get to use some slightly different items than usual. The stonework kitchen is so incredibly perfect for this build though. It looks like there's a little cauldron on the fireplace or on the fireplace, you get my drift. But I think it's so perfect for this build. I love finding items like that and just kind of like using them in different ways and I think that's what's really helped me a lot with this entrance series is just kind of pushed me to use different things to different combinations of items, different codes. It's really been so much fun and I can't believe we're already halfway done with this mini series. I am going to be doing 10 different entrances and I do have a list of different ideas but if there's an entrance or a theme that you really want to see me try out I would love to see your suggestions in the comments below. 
um, but then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little classroom section here in front of the build I'm using the fortune telling item and I kind of thought that it would be interesting to put some mushrooms around here almost like they've dropped some ingredients or something and then over to this side is gonna be like a little outdoor classroom I'm setting some books on a mush stool which I think looks super cool and kind of witchy and then I said before I was gonna be using some of the decayed trees I think they're really nice for filling up space but you can see through them so I don't know it just gives like a really nice effect and then I'm switching that mush stool out for the leaf table because I wanted to use the mushrooms as the seating for the classroom because I think that's so fun I'm gonna actually pivot in a second and time travel to the nighttime and I am so excited to show you guys what this build looks like at night it completely transforms the space look at how cool this is with the candles and the glowing items and that fragment in the center i just think it's so fun let me know what you guys think in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll catch you very soon in the next one bye